vibration reading for the Aries Sun Moon and Rising sign for um, the first week of October the week begin from uh, the 2nd of October until the 8th of October I want to say thank you to you Aries I don't know why there is so, such minder of you guys but you guys are really really um, have positive energies so um, um, some of the, the the men can work on a real negative but for the rest of it I I honestly think um, there are good good messages for you guys on Thursday is going to be a good day whatever is happening Thursday is going to be one of the most positive day for Yuli this um, is a week of the hurt energies the earth energies is uh, positive whatever the situation is number five uh, number five is here so there is going to be a huge transformation for you Aries we have the number five happening for you three times in this week your energy in this week and your focus in this week is going to be the three of cups celebration happy joy whatever is happening good things are coming out for you so Thursday is going to be a wonderful positive day you have the seven of ones um, and the seven of ones is that you're protecting yourself so the crowning of the week is going to be that you're protecting yourself uh, and the focus of the week is you are going to have a celebration connection with other people and happiness and joy coming in number five is here it's going to be a huge transformation on Saturday a new opening is going to happen whatever is happening with your financial situation it's going to become much much better you have absolutely no major or corner your best days are going to be um, um, protecting yourself in this week um, Thursday is going to be your best day Saturday Thursday and Saturday is going to be your best day it's going to be a week of you um, protecting yourself from different sort of energy and different sort of a situation that is going on it's going to be a positive week because the Sun comes out while you're protecting yourself the Sun comes out so this is going to be um, wonderful okay whatever is happening let's look at your week on Monday we have the five of Pentacles in reverse so if you were having a financial situation on Monday it's not stop 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 whatever is happening on Monday stop beating up yourself about um, your financial situation because it's going to be okay it's going to be good Again, you Aries, whatever is happening with your financial situation on Monday, stop beating up yourself because it's going to be good. There is no sorrow. Stop doing that. Just ask the universal angels to help you to bring forth um, the uh, money that you need. Okay? And stop beating up yourself. Just ask the universe for a divine intervention to heal your uh, financial situation. Stop beating up yourself, people, over money. And money is just an energy you have to know that you have it and you're going to have it on Tuesday you have another five the five of cups you're having regrets and you're having regrets uh, about a king of swords so whatever is happening you are having a huge regret over this king of swords whoever this person is you're having a regrets over it okay so whatever is happening between you and this person this person could be an Aries for some people uh, now this person could be an Aquarius for some people a Leo or a, a Gemini or a Virgo why am I saying a Leo could be a Leo uh, sometimes they have these uh, Sun moon and rising sign in their birth chart that is uh, um, and you're really having regrets about this person um, whatever the regrets was is no longer you're you're you know you're um, changing the energy vibration this is another reverse five which is good um whatever is happening you have a situation with this king of sword and it's as if you wish you hadn't done something and you wish you hadn't believed him okay 
as we move forward we have the energy of the seven of ones the seven of ones is that you're protecting yourself it's a week and this is the crowning of the week you seems to be protecting yourself from something but don't you you know don't worry about it because what is happening is that um, the universal angels and guide because the Sun is a source of all things and it is protecting you okay so if you are someone that has been you know having all these things because Monday and Tuesday is not going to be one of the finest days for you guys you need to understand that you're being protected by the source of all things okay as we move forward we have on Thursday a wonderful day you're feeling yourself you're back to yourself and you have the kind of one of starboard of ones and this what it is doing is that the people between the ages of zero and um, 35 is going to be wonderful whatever the reason is why this princess is in the reverse so I guess the man are going to have a very positive day and this princess of ones is in reverse I'm having double energies so here we are that on Thursday it's going to affect the people between the ages of 0 and 35 whatever is happening there is a situation that is happening here and I need to ask a question to find out why is these um, fire people on Thursday are here and what is the message for them there is going to be an ending okay so um for the men who are up in relationship whether aries the leo or the sagittarius there is going to have there's a, going to be an ending mm, there's going to be an ending so it's as if your relationship is going to come to an end uh so for the women who are having relationships uh, um there is going to become an end uh, it's as if uh, um the this this person and and I'm, I'm, I'm receiving the feeling that this is a leo person he's rash rational um wants to end a relationship with you so um for, for for him for for this person you know be careful of this person this person is not really a nice person um, whoever this person is I'm getting a Leo Sagittarians are not really like that but I'm getting a Leo and this person wants to have a quick ending I want to you know so be aware of this person it's not a nice person um, it could be a husband that is thinking about ending your marriage so be 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 aware of this person on Friday number five comes in the five of swords whatever the conflicts was and whatever you feel a failure to a situation and you should not feel that failure to the situation because um, let me explain something because I mean I'm, I'm receiving the message that um, someone who you you are married to whether a Leo or a, or a Sagittarius wants to end your marriage and you're feeling as if you know you are a failure to the situation no you're not a failure to the situation this man is just a bastard this man is not really a nice person okay and sometimes you get involved with people and you are in the relationship um, you come in this relationship with positive energy and this man did not have any positive energy it was not his idea of being open and positive this man is a dishonest person so if he needs to leave your life let him leave your life because you will be okay you will be happy and okay with who you are learn to love yourself get rid of him if he wants to go let him go bye on Saturday here you are wonderful wonderful um, Aquarian woman and you sit there and you look so luscious and so beautiful new beginnings are happening delusions for some but it's it's, it's, it's really not a delusion because the eight of swords is that you're trying to figure out certain situation you're wondering if this man loves me so much and if he is my husband and he marry me why is he behaving like this and what have I done you have done nothing wrong the man is just an asshole I'm sorry okay you are sitting there thinking what had happened 
new things will come for you new opportunities um, just get up stand on your foot move on there are people and family who will help you and will who will support you in this the man was just not if this it was just not the right relationship for him he's just an ass so he just realized how he is full of you know what it is okay so girl whatever is going on in your life you are going to say bye and move on whatever he wants to do but get f f f f okay i so not like men how they can um, behave and it's just for stupidity um, whenever men realize that they can't um, um, power or um, you know bring in tinder you're going to realize okay we have the energy of the Empress I'm not going in there <laughs> we have the energy of the Empress and the Pope the Empress and the Pope so whatever is happening here for you um, on um, on Sunday it's as if some of you are going to want to go to the priest and ask the priest to talk to this person or um, ask the priest for a session to heal your marriage or whatsoever it is you know go and do it and see what happened maybe this will help but you know the priest doesn't know the best that your husband is the priest have no idea who this person is the priest thinks it is just a wolf in sheep clothing so whatever it is my darling go to the priest and ask the priest and if it's the divine thing because what is happening is that this man you have no idea who is this man because this man hasn't been um, honest um, to you at no stage of your life he will give you stories but um, his true feelings and honesty about certain situation is not good and I can see that you have picked up this man and you have um, you know rearrange him and you know fix him up I see things that you have done for this man that no one else has ever thought about but you know this is how life is whenever People get married and uh, um, especially men who pick up women who you know were just barely making it and they get married and these women are being very successful and very prosperous and so they always have a problem with them because they don't want people to achieve or accomplish anything in their lives so let the loser go darling there's someone else out there let's see what the priest is going to do for you but um, I don't think it's gonna be much but you know let's see because this is sad this is sad this is someone who um, goes to church every Sunday and pretend to be someone else that he's not his and I said to you people remove the mask go back and listen to my thank you message people need to remove the mask whoever you are out there that is having problems in your marriage go to the priest if you think this is going to happen for you go to the priest it might happen um, the priest has no idea you know um, because this man has a mask up everyone just think that he's a nice person deep down girl mm -mm. No. whatever your financial situation is it is going to be okay all right there is going to be blessings coming to you that you weren't expecting the secret to getting rich is knowing that you already are and then acting like it do tell me who manage your assets and those gems are the real yes they are because the universe manage your asset this is the second time that this card is really coming up for this week for a lot of people you have the energy of the color of pink and let me tell you something whoever you are out there and your husband wants to break up with you release yourself Monday and Tuesday from worrying about money when you worry about money you bring that in just ask the universe look this is my problem gotta pay my car payment gotta pay my rent gotta pay this gotta pay that I'm asking for extra help and you will see that this extra help will come in Wow ladies and gentlemen I'm half and I'm saying namaste until next week please remember to listen to your Sun moon and rising sign and remember how these energies do work together namaste